So I started sailing dinghies at the age of uh, 13. I was in a woodworking class at school that built a, a heron dinghy. And I was asked to go along and when the dinghy was launched and from that moment on I fell in love with sailing. And I sailed for pretty much 10 years, uh, racing dinghies very competitively, mo mostly in the, um, the fireball class. And uh, traveled all over Europe doing that, competed in national and European championships. Um, and I suppose I've, I've got a competitive streak, so competing in a sailing dinghy, you know, in the open air, the fresh air, the sun, the rain, everything just feels fantastic. When I started work, um, I, um, I, I couldn't commit the time to continuing to compete at that level. Uh, I had to do something to earn a living and I looked at working in the sailing industry but actually I felt I was better off elsewhere and I spent a number of years windsurfing. We then had children, we moved to the United States and didn't do anything for many years. And then as my kids grew up, um, then started sailing and chartering yachts in the Mediterranean, going on flotillas and gradually got back into sailing, I guess what you call yachts, cruising boats, um, again, all, all over the Mediterranean. And uh, uh, then I, I met Val, who I got into sailing, and we've been sailing ever since, and moved from uh, one boat to another, arriving at the boat we've got now. I haven't raced for all, over 40 years until um, earlier this year, we went on a CMB owners weekend and there was a fairly uh, light-hearted series of races, three races, and we, we just really enjoyed it. Um, uh, and uh, we kind of said, somebody said to us, well, why don't you try going to Saint-Tropez? And we thought, well, yeah, why don't we try going to Saint-Tropez? And that's what we decided to do. And uh, you know, where, what, what better thing could you be doing in the first week of October? In rainy England or in sunny Saint-Tropez on a, on a sailing boat? But we're here not to race terribly seriously. You know, we, we've got a limited number of sails. We, um, we have one, one uh, uh, Jenica, uh, IFS Jenica from one sail. And, uh, but we don't have a spinnaker, we don't have a code zero. And we wanted to keep it very simple with a small number of people on board and, uh, and really just to feel what it was like to race. Uh, we're not taking this super seriously. It really doesn't require more than four of us with the, with the, with the kit we've got. Um, and it's kind of requiring less management with less, less people. Uh, I first met Peter Bresnan uh, from One Sales uh, almost 10 years ago now. Um, we had a Halberg Rassi at the time. We arrived in Parma with a badly torn uh, Code Zero. And I asked who, who could help us with this. And um, somebody told me that I should speak to Peter Bresnan of One Sales. And, um, and that's what I did. We met Peter. Peter has made sales for us. One sales made sales for us. Um, first of all, for our um, XC45, which we had um, uh, prior to this boat. And um, one sales has made all of the sales on this boat. The, the main sail, the staysail, uh, the Genoa, and now the IF, uh, IFS Jenica. And, um, you know, I enjoy working with Peter. We get we good, good inputs. We have some arguments sometimes and um, we have some good laughs along the way too.